it's obvious what we've done the last year hasn't worked and we need to try something different. Now I was encouraged when the governor did make a proposal the last day of the session which really isn't the last day of the session. They've got until the end of this month before the new fiscal year. I think everybody kind of jumped to the gun and said it's, they didn't do their job. They, they still have 24 days to do it. Uh, but they're going to have to change their approach. But one of the things the governor routed did, he did propose a temporary budget, which I don't like. I think that's just kicking the can down the road and just making matters worse long term because we're not dealing with it. In fact, we're spending more money now, even without a budget, than we did with a budget because we got a lot less revenue coming in. So that hole is just getting deeper and deeper. And the longer we go, even with a temporary budget, the hole gets deeper. But the good thing that the governor said was he was going to set aside his turnaround agenda. Now, I think the next good thing he ought to do is just turn, set aside the turnaround agenda until they get a real budget done. And then deal with that on other issues that other people have that it's not dealing with the budget. The budget has to be done, and it needs to be done now. I, I must say, and I don't, this isn't a question that it might get asked, I would like to tell you I see light at the end of the tunnel. I don't. I'm afraid we're going to end up with a makeshift, what they call a temporary budget, and we still aren't going to solve a lot of the problems out there. It's just going to dig the hole deeper. Uh, I, I'm afraid that we won't see a real budget which means cuts in spending, which is not popular with certain parties, and it's going to mean raising taxes, which is not popular with the other party. We have to do both of those and put a real budget together to get this state back on track. 